Okay guys, figured I'd have a go at running a hardcore game um, with a few preset rules. Um, no x-ray machines, basically none of that TNT cheat stuff to see through the floor. Um, no using F3, things like that. Um, someone also suggested on our Mind Time Facebook group, only leather armour. I might stick to that actually, because that seems like it's a, a quite interesting challenge. Um, so basically, here we are. Um, just so you can see I'm not cheating when making the world. World type default, generate structures on, game mode hardcore, and let's just call it survive. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Best thing about this is I always forget the basics. And it happens to me in UHC every time, and I was thinking, oh, how do I make this? What if I, what's the best plan? What's the best plan? So we'll see. Another thing I also want to impose on myself is to stop running away from caves. I have this horrible habit when I go mining and looking for resources, I come across a cave, I wall it off, I go somewhere else. Um, keeps me alive. I have zero deaths on the mine time server, UHC and dropper notwithstanding. And. I'm running low on resources because of it, because it's that's the best way to find resources is to go into those caves. So I'm going to try and force myself not to go into all of them, but not to run away from quite so many. So, without further ado, God, I hope we get a good starting location. Okay, I have up to find zoom. I am going to use it from time to time. It'd be like I have a pair of binoculars. Okay, this is a good starting location. Forest, lots of wood, pegs, so I get food right off the bat. I'm gonna get some humble beginnings. And I'll probably make one of these hills or cliffs my home. Come on, you. This bodes well. The thing is, as well, I'm playing on 1.5.2. So, I've got the tougher skellies. If anyone's seen my last UHC videos, you'll realise um, just how tough they are. They gave me a thorough beating last time. They were responsible for me losing over half my health in one encounter. Uh, some of you are probably realising straight off the bat, I'm not very good. Um, a great gamer I am not, I will thoroughly admit that. Ooh, that's interesting. A nice little cliff face over there. This could be a promising start. I'm really glad I didn't start somewhere like a desert biome because they're impossible to get started in. You, there's no wood. There's no animals. You can't. So you can't dig down and build for shelter. Um, I think in hardcore mode, I don't think your health regens unless you have a golden apple. Thankfully, unlike UHC, um, you only need golden nuggets instead of ingots to make golden apples so shouldn't be too hard right. oh, let's finish this tree off let's hope some oh, bloody bit of wood stuck up there okay planks crafting table I'm also trying for the first time recording my webcam at the same time as recording my game footage. So I have absolutely no idea what sort of performance hit to expect. Hopefully it's not too much. Let's make two of those just in case. You can always burn leftover tools that you don't need. saplings. I normally hated picking up saplings but they're actually kind of worth getting because saplings are another thing you can burn. So this is... looks like a good place to start this actually. These sort of structures are usually quite promising. More pigs. I like this. It's a lot of pork right off the bat. It's a lot of pigs. Oh come on. 
I suppose the advantage of the uh, the main enemies in this game is they don't run around quite as much as the critters do when you smack them. Oh, there's two there. I'm getting hungry already. All this hitting things. I think with raw pork chops, there's no risk of food poisoning. That'll do. Okay. Let's get some cobble on the go. And begin a safe house. Normally these sort of stone structures have got um, a lot of resources visible to the surface. Unfortunately I didn't really see many. Where's the sun? It's coming up on midday. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much noise of resources visible on the surface. So I'm not going to hold out much hope actually of this place. Coal would be lovely, but uh, I just realised I'm going to get some wood so that I can get some charcoal if need be. There's a sheep. That could be really handy. I heard a zombie. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm going to turn my Minecraft signs right up because I have normally have them really low. That could be way too loud. This could be really deafening for you guys and you can't hear me, but we'll see. I can hear myself. Ooh. Okay, so there's definitely some sort of ravine or something that's housing sheeps. Okay. I know I may, I may be playing with some self-inflicted... Ah, there's my sword gun. Ooh, that'll be where they are. Down in there. I know I said I wasn't going to run away from too many caves, but I think you can forgive me early in the game. Ooh, there's that skeleton. Okay. Um, yeah, one of the restrictions I'm not putting myself on is forcing myself to stay around at night. I will be sleeping during the night time. So, let's get a furnace or two. Have I got much in the way of planks left? I do. Enough to make a door? Yes. Okay. Good. You know what? That's quicker to do it that way. Okay, so there's some safety. It would be nice to get some coal, but I'm not going to hold out too much hope. So. That. Ooh. Maybe if I do that, that might be better. E charcoal, okay. Figure out I should be able to make some stone tools now. And not worry about some torches. Let's put one down there. Let's get mining again. Honestly, I have no idea how long this series is going to last. Um, it was an idea I considered quite a while ago. I never got around to doing it. There's various things going on. Girlfriend moving in, getting new pets, etc. And stuff going on with work. And then, of course, all the usual UHC so, I never really did a huge amount of it. Um, let's get some more sticks. Might as well. Oh, I only got, I only got two wool. I didn't have enough to make a bed. Is it still daytime out there? Charcoal. Hey. 
Okay, sure, some torches. I don't have a sword anymore. I wonder if maybe there's a bit of wool floating around out there. There it is, there it is. Excellent. Let's get some more wood. In the meantime, I can use this and make charcoal. There's water nearby, which is nice. Saplings, I keep forgetting I can burn saplings. I want to start cooking these pork chops. heard that. Uh, good old cave music playing. <laughs> I normally turn all the music on Minecraft down because it's, it's really distracting. You hear this wonderful blissful music and the game's all, ha, here you go, zombie in the face. Okay, I was over there, okay. Oh, there's so many pigs around here. This would be a great place to start for UHC. So much wood and food. Excuse me, I'll get my bearings and scratch my nose a little bit. Okay. I hope nothing comes in after me. Right, what do I want to burn? Burn that. Get some more charcoal. Man, I forgot how long stone axes don't last. <laughs> I've been on iron and diamond for so long. Mainly diamond now, actually. I'm getting used to that durability, especially when you put enchantments on it. it makes it quite difficult to go back to stone. My mining strategies I wear are also sub-optimal. Um, like I don't branch mine or strip mine effectively. God, that, even that noise scared me. I'm quite jumpy when doing this. I'm well aware that on my own I could die at any moment. Okay, let's get some more. Able to, to take with me so that when I'm down there, I don't need to keep coming back. And a furnace to take with me as well. One of those, one of those. A shovel. And a sword. Here, yada yada yada, wool, yada yada yada, wood, bed. Okay. That was not a good plan. Let's maybe dig here to put the bed down in. actually make a storage chest as well. I'm so used to my beginnings being UHC style beginnings, so I keep forgetting. Things like storage is often nice. So I'll put you in there, you in there, you in there for now. Wooden axe is something that could be burnt. Come on, come on, charcoal. Okay, let's get back to work. I 
Yeah, what you wanted. Oh, hey, yay, yeah, cool. Just what I wanted. I'll use the charcoal for making torches. And the regular coal. Oh, wow, this is a big coal vein. I love that coal now gives you experience. Yeah, one of the reasons for me doing this was I saw a similar set of videos posted by C Nanners, whose videos I've gotten really into lately. I spent quite a lot of time going through a lot of his old archives of stuff he'd been playing. And aside from his usual five minute video sets, he started doing hardcore mode Minecraft videos lasting, you know, 20, 30 minute episodes. I don't actually know how long I've. 15 minutes, that's how long I've been recording. There's a timer on this, of course there is. Uh, timer on the webcam window, not the Minecraft window or anything. And I've got a clock. So when I say I don't know how long I've been recording for, what I actually mean is I'm being an idiot. There's a lot of coal. That's 38 bits of coal from there alone. Let's go up and put these furnaces to use. Cook, cook me some pork. The only thing is I have absolutely no idea how long or how far down I'm going. Sticks, charcoal. Make some more torches. So I have absolutely no idea when I'm getting to the optimum level for various um minerals. Aha! Urn. It's better than my usual UHC starts. My usual UHC starts um, end up with me just running around trying to go, oh my god, there's no resources, there's no resources, there's no resources. I had a bit of a scary, scary start here. It's just all stone. But proven to be unfounded fear. Okay, again, I want to go back up. There's going to be a lot of back and forth thing. I mean, you really are just watching a let's play as opposed to a let's entertain. Um, I would say I'm sorry. I'm not... Oh, I'm going to assume there's a zombie through there. Where's my cobblestone? You go there. Let's take some cooked pork chops. Honestly, I have no idea where that's coming from, and truth be told, it's kind of creeping me out. I know that zombies can break down doors as well, so I don't want to. I don't want to hang around for that to happen. Um, yeah, let's hold off. Let's... Oh, good. There's a skelly out there too. I am not going near you with a barge pole. Iron ingots. That'll do for. Pork chops for now, that's enough to dig. Yeah, and the thing I'll have to remember, because I'm on hardcore, um, if I die, that's it, it's game over, world deleted, end of series. So, I do want to make this video as entertaining as it can be, but I also want to prove. Um, I want to keep my death as uninevitable as possible. Come on, come on, come on. There's a lot of coal around here. I'm liking this. I really am. I'm digging all this now. Apparently I'm getting maximum of 30 frames per second out of this. Strange Dave, Solomon Hayes, you may recognize him from some of the videos I've done. Um, he doesn't play it full screen, he plays it in, in a window, but he gets like triple figure frame rates out of his Minecraft. It's insane. Um, I was supposed to be getting a new graphics card off a friend, but it was a little bit too big for my case. 
which is quite hilarious, trying to fit that in. Okay, let's leave that. This way. So, I'm stuck on my old GT220, I think it is. Okay, let's go down. Um, which, you know, is adequate. Oh my god, more cool. It's adequate, you know. It's not like I'm struggling to play anything. Come on. You guys want cobblestone? I'm your man. You guys want any iron? Or gold? Or diamond? <laughs> You're gonna have to go elsewhere. Coal I got plenty of too. I'm the coal man. My hands are black. I think another problem I have with these videos is I'm not, not really half as witty as I want to be. Some things sound funny in my head, and then when I say them, I realize they're not, or I just get lost in th in my train of thought and realize that I'm not actually making any sense. Oh, yay for email! Ooh, uh, Rogue Legacy is out, by the way. Um, I strongly advise that you check that game out. Um, it's like a, it's. As the name implies, it's a roguelike, but it's also a 2D platformer, a la Castlevania. And it is very, very difficult, but the idea is that when you die, it's not game over. You choose an heir who inherits <coughs> your progress, and oh my god, and your gear, etc. And so you return back, and the idea is to eventually build yourself up into this big, fully buffed out hero to take on the end boss. Um, it's great fun to play and I don't, I'm don't. i not normally a big fan of that sort of die-hard Castlevania style platformer where everything is insanely deadly but Rogue Legacy is very good fun to play and it's an indie game. I think it's out on Steam now. It's definitely worth getting and it's pretty cheap. It's like under 10 quid. You should also subscribe to my videos because I'm Pretty awesome. Don't know who I'm trying to convince there. Oh man, I keep on going to reach for F3 and then remembering I can't. I think I'm going to have to set a rule. Anytime I use F3, I've got to take some fall damage or something to uh, punish myself. Okay, I'm going to take another. I'm going to take a quick trip back upstairs and see if all those pork chops are finished. I might even... I'm going to assume I'm around 60 or something like that at the top. Yay, pork chops. Okay. Cool. Come with me. Cool. Come with me. Let's make some more planks. Because I'm running out of torches. Charcoal. Use you for that. Oh, I can only... I thought it was night. Okay. It mustn't be night anymore. Ah, oh, no, I've only got one stick, I can't. Damn it. If it's daytime, I'm going to take a break from... Yes, it is. I'm going to go wood gathering. Get some more sticks. Make me some tools. Some iron axes. Or iron pickaxes, not iron axes. Iron axes won't do me any good. I mean, I think, I don't even think it's really worth buying, or buying, making axes in this game, for the most part. It's like, what's, I mean, everything can mine, you can get wood with anything, it doesn't really take that long to get a block. And I've never been, aside from the start of the game, I've never been in a situation where wood is one of those do or die resources. So I never really bothered with axes. Um, I did join the UHC because every resource in UHC is do or die. But in normal single player, when there aren't, uh, when there isn't anyone else out to get you, I tend not to go for things. Oh, a little skeet down here. I don't know what it is. Oof. 
I wonder what that was. I forgot there's bats now in the game. Ah, run away, run away. There, I am not prepared. Ah, I am not prepared for skeletons. <laughs> Ow. Okay. There's iron in there. That's definitely worth exploring. Ah, oh, my health does regen on hardcore. Okay, that makes me breathe a little easier. I suppose the advantage of axes over pickaxes is that, is that axes don't take as much damage from harvesting wood. So you get a bit more durability. Systems slow down. Seems to be okay. Go off unless we're putting on a new episode of True Blood or something. <laughs> Streaming everything from the PC. Okay. Planks. Lots and lots of planks. Sticks. Sticks and stones make wonderful tools. You know what, I'm going to get another full stack of torches, sure. Why not? I have the, I have everything I need for it. I'm going to keep using the stone for now. And I'll switch to the iron picks when I start finding more valuable resources. Or when these break, whichever comes first. More cool. Can't see. That noise always scares me out. It sounds so much like the skeleton bones. So I always think there's a skeleton nearby. I think I might forego the no leather armor rule. Or the only leather armor rule, actually. Because that, that doesn't, as challenging as it is, doesn't really make a huge amount of sense to me. I wanted this playthrough to be about your gameplay as opposed to using all the tools of it, using all the mods and F3s and not so much cheats but exploits at my disposal. Ooh. Getting dark. And I decided that being able to make iron armor is a bonus. So I'm going to dig around, find some resources. If I could find some spiders, that would be great. Because being able to make a bow and arrow would be wonderful. And would help me take on the talk of the devil flint. No chickens, though, which is a shame. So I can't get feathers. Ooh, I think this is allowed. More coal, my god. Yeah, I don't normally bother with gravel, but... That's normally because when I'm digging around, it's normally in the f our normal server where I'm tooled up to the eyeballs and I've got so many arrows and I've got an infinity bow. So, but this time I could do with the ability to make arrows, so flint is very handy. Where's my flint? Eight flint. Nine flint. Flint. I think each flint stick and feather gets you two arrows. Or something. I'm sure I heard something. Gravel's actually quite 
handy to have. Because if you want to build a way, a, a, a set of stepping stones down to an area, instead of having to work your way around various bits and try and slowly step down and find places to put down your cobblestone, you can just drop some gravel down and let it stack up on top of each other. As long as you can find your initial anchor point to drop it down, which would be the ledge that you're on. Just hang over the edge. Eleven experience and all I've all I've done combat wise, aside from critters, is get shot by a skeleton once. I love that mining mining resources giving you experience is such a game changer. Yeah, so, well, it's been about 30 minutes now of, of gameplay, so I'm going to cut it there for this episode, and then we'll come right back for the next one.